We are currently in the process of replacing all of these old running lights on the camper, which are mostly burnt out and a lot of the plastic is rotted with shiny new LED lights like that. So I figured I would give you the rundown on how the process works. While I'm up here, I'm also gonna be drilling out these little bracket mounts, which are where these clamps hold down because we're gonna be replacing those clamps with non-rusted ones pretty soon. Okay, so first, take off your light cover, remove your old bulb, pull up the old wires, which are just held in by these little crimpy dimpy things. Go ahead and pull that off. Drill out these rivets here carefully so we don't punch through to the canvas. Oh. Well, you can see the plastic is a little delicate. And now these wires will actually just pull right through this plastic, like so. Peel off some of the caulking that's on the wire. Use some vice grips to get out the back of the rivets. There we go. This is now ready for the new LED light after we brush it off a little bit. Looks like the solder's melted. If we can use your flashlight one more time. Yep. Yep, it's good. So I bought some LED lights to swap into the 12 volt dome lights up here in the camper. It's getting a little dark, sorry. This is what they used to look like, incandescent bulbs, so it takes a lot more energy and it gets hot. This is what they now look like, LED bulb. It looks kind of like a solar array. If you can't tell, that is really bright. All right, so I stripped off the gross looking veneer stuff and we have some really high quality particle board. <laughs> So we'll just paint that to give it more of a protective layer than peeling crap. Woo okay, we've got our Kills primer slash paint here. Some brushes and sponges and a jug, Terra. Doing a post is really important. <laughs> Instagram. And we're getting ready to paint. Got everything taped off for the most part. Terra did a little sanding to smooth things over here. Let's do it. Here's what the camper looks like after a coat of primer. Here's the little sad corner. You can definitely see where we've patched it up and fixed it, but it's starting to cover that, and we're gonna have a backsplash up here, so really, I think it's, you're not really gonna see any of that at all. One of our thoughts initially with... <laughs> Happy accidents. It is day three of painting the camper. You can see we are all primed up in here, two coats of primer. Now we're gonna focus on doing the gloss paint today, which is gonna be another white, but it's just gonna sit on top of this. As I said earlier, we're debating using the Kills Primer as our primary paint, but it's pretty flat and it tends to hold on to stains. Like I, I had dirty feet and I stepped up <laughs> on the, the bench there and it just stayed on there. So I think a gloss would be a lot easier long term as far as fighting off stains and just taking care of care of it and cleaning it. So that's what we're doing. And we have some leftover white house paint from my parents, thankfully. So we're just gonna do a coat of that and finish this off. But as you can see, we forgot one key thing. <laughs> we were supposed to we were supposed to wall off this little section with a piece of plywood before we painted so we could seal it off, put some liquid nail around it just to make it a solid wall because we don't need this vent anymore. And I just completely did not remember yeah. that. So now we're going back and doing that and then we're gonna have to let the liquid nails dry and prime it and hopefully that'll be dry and ready to go by the time we finish painting all of this other stuff. Yesterday my dad who's been helping out a ton on this build and I think he's seeing how cool it is and getting the bug he went up to the Raleigh area to an RV place to look at truck campers and we tagged along just to see what new campers are like and to kind of get some inspiration for ideas when we build out the cabinets and other parts of this camper. And that was really cool. It was a fun little experience to see what a, a modern truck camper looks like compared to this older one. Not that different. Yeah, not that different. I'm going to go ahead and roll that footage. There's not too much of it. Check out these campers and then we'll get back to the paint.
asshole and I don't like. Check out this bathroom. Pretty roomy and it's got a shower. It's interesting how these bed nooks are kind of separate spaces in these larger campers. But then look at that prize. That is insane to me. That's the one we were just in. And here's what the Northern Light looks like. Now here's something more similar to what we have. Let's check it out. Wow, these ceilings are high. They're definitely a lot bigger than ours. And then the bed actually has storage on the sides. And the pop-ups, unlike ours, which is a crank up, are on the outside. Actuators. Less than I expected. All right, now this is the peak, the host. Why you would want something like this on a truck, I have no idea. Welcome. <laughs> Stove, your sink. Come warm yourself by the fire. Two recliners, little pull out nook, a fireplace, <laughs> an entire bathroom that circles around into a shower, and gigantic bed with a mirror. Tara has been removing all of the cabinet doors in here which are going to get painted possibly a little gray. Everything else will be white so those will be little accent points. She's been taking out these top doors as well. These cabinets will stay. We're not really going to paint them because they look pretty decent. There's like a touch up spot to be done but they look good and they'll fit with the overall theme so no need for extra work. It just so happens that our leftover piece of three quarter inch plywood from the repair down here in the corner is just big enough to cut down to fit this hole. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, I've marked out the dimensions on the board. Let's go ahead and cut it to size. I've done a bunch of sanding on the hole to get it to fit the plywood well, and the plywood's cut to the right dimensions. So now I'm just gonna liquid nail it in around the entire perimeter and then push it in flush to the inside wall. Now we can flush it. So we have liquid nailed it in on the outside and made sure it's making pretty good contact everywhere. And there's the inside. Got some extra liquid nail kind of shoved in there and spread around and then we'll sand that off, paint it with some primer and then finish painting the camper. I've been down in the bottom area of the camper here sanding and prepping things for painting and I've been looking at this cabinet and we've done some priming on it already but the more I look at it the more I just want to take it out and redo it. It's pretty flimsy. This piece of wood here is kind of loose. It could use a little more structure when you step on it and I'd like to make it like a pop top so you can actually access it from the top and maybe expand it a little bit so we could store our batteries and our charge controllers and stuff in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. It sucks to have another level of depth added to this project but at the same time we might as well do it right while we're doing it so I'm gonna start taking it out. Here's what it looks like inside from the top view. A lot of free space here. A lot of non-optimized storage that we can do something with. paint. It's pretty much done painting. The only thing that needs to be done, we're going to do a little gray border on this window and a few of the cabinet doors. So here's the finished product. You can see here is where that hole in the wall used to be where the vent was. That turned out a lot nicer than I thought it would. We're going to leave this one in there for fridge venting. It's coming along. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Truck Camping ASMR. ASMR. We're here in the camper today. We just finished painting with our high gloss coat on top. Let's start revealing those crisp lines and crisp sounds for your enjoyment. The 
this tape is very sticky. We've officially pulled all of the tape off of the truck camper and it is clean and ready to be worked on. Thanks so much for following along on another truck camper ASMR video. Goodbye. to another episode of Truck Camping ASMR. ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> That's not relaxing. Either. Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Truck yes. Camping <laughs> ASMR. Let's get started revealing those crisp... <laughs> well... Well... <laughs>